Greetings. I'm Halima Binta Zaid, an independent researcher from Department of Business Administration, Daffodil International University, Bangladesh. And I will be presenting our research titled as Students' Perception Towards E-Learning on Online Sessions Amid COVID-19 Lockdown Phase in Bangladesh, a case study on private university students carried out by my co-authors, Ms. Sanjida Chodhuri, Assistant Professor of Department of General Educational Development, Daffodil International University, and Ms. Sanjida Khan, Senior Lecturer, Department of Business Administration, Daffodil International University. I would like to express my gratitude to International Multidisciplinary Conference on Current Research Trends 2020 for giving us the platform. The confront case of virus spread to Bangladesh was recorded in March 2020. Since then, the pandemic has spread at a geometric pace day by day over the whole nation, and the number of affected individuals is still on the rise. There is no sign of flattening the curve. Bangladesh government announced to close all the educational institutions in order to tackle the spread of COVID-19. According to the report of UNESCO published on June 1st, 2020, 1 1.2 billion students are affected due to closure of educational institutions in 144 countries globally. Bangladesh is no exception. In the light of COVID-19 spreading rapidly around the world, countries have taken immediate uh, and firm measures to adopt temporary homeschooling or online learning situations. These rampant changes in circumstances have generated certain inconvenience. However, they have also motivated new innovative methods of education. There are multiple challenges. Um, there are multiple challenges that the institutes, guardians, and students uh, uh, of Bangladesh might have been facing due to the online learning transition. Uh, in person, uh, social interaction has an authenticity that might be hard to portray in the digital world, yet not impossible. An amalgamation of both interaction, uh, interactive classes and uh, pre-recorded classes can be an effective strategy to continue the engagement of the students and to replicate face-to-face -face lessons into the digital world. Universities around the globe, including Bangladesh, are trying to incorporate uh, these effective strategies through Zoom and Google Meet. Due to the sudden shift from the traditional method of education, students as well as the teachers face intriguing complications uh, aroused due to the lack of skills, researches, tools, and so on. So our objective was to identify the perception of the students towards e-learning during COVID-19 lockdown as it was an unconventional media of education while breaking through this confinement of the challenges imposed by the new techniques. The research also aims to analyze the students' understanding of the online class while transitioning from the offline method, whether they are able to cordially accept it or not. In the study, we have used primary data uh, which have been gathered through a self-directed organized online questionnaire. We collected 295 uh, uh, responses of students using e-learning tools to complete their daily courses during the pandemic from the reputed uh, private universities in Bangladesh besides Daffodil International University. According to the demographic profile, the respondents participating in the um, survey are 63% male and 37% uh, females approximately, distributed among various year group of study, first year by 43.4%, uh, second year by 24.7%, third year by 20.3%, and final year by 11.5%. Approximately 42% of the respondents were business students, 28% from the computer science engineering department, 22% from software engineering department, and the rest of the students were from journalism and mass communication department. Using a univariate analysis, uh, the perception on e-learning are examined on 13 items in three levels, uh, 
part the agree one, somewhat agree two, and um, uh, agree three. A basic statistics of mean and the standard deviation is exhibited in table one. Almost every item's average is agreed to students on somewhat agree on the level. It ranges from 1.99 as seen for, I have a fast stable link to the internet to 2.65 as seen for, I have learned uh, from stuff I watch such as lectures, recordings, or videos, etc. The standard deviation is not too much scattered. So uh, refers to responses are clocks to each other as uh, 0.558 to 0.85. No item is de uh, detected as an outlier. A stack percentage bar chart is also provided for visualizing the perception of students for a split second. Out of these 13 items, uh, four items' responses come a minimum 46% on somewhat agree on the level. That uh, includes, I have a legitimate excuse to take an online course. I normally study at a place where I can read and work without distractions. I have a fast, stable link to the internet. There might be the greatest benefit of online learning. These certain questions are traced under availability, adaptability, group work, performance, material advancement through recording format, brainstorming or discussing with classmates, um, uh, uh, searching or surfing the internet, etc. On a class-oriented question, according to the preferences outline, 57% of students still choose offline or traditional learning, whereas 43% prefer online classes. The running procedure of class format is sketched in three portions, 25% uh, for online only, 26% uh, for recording class lectures, and 49% uh, for the both methods. Finally, the preferable class duration for the students is between 30 to 60 minutes by 50%. So the key findings are uh, the reliability test is performed according to Sekharin to ensure the consistency or stability of the items. Reliability calculation by Cronbach's alpha, uh, the uh, outcome of the reliability test of this research shows that the Cronbach's alpha coefficient is 0 0.8 to 0, which is acceptable. Um, this indicates that one can rely on the results of this instrument. Uh, through very um, bivariate analysis, we analyze the perception of uh, students' judgment of 13 items and class-oriented questions. Firstly, the preference of class format is examined with 13 variables. Under the null hypothesis of an association between class format preference and independent variables, there is a significant relationship. For justifying association, we analyze cross tabulation under chi's square distribution and Kramer's v statistic for better justification. 56.9% prefer offline or traditional learning. On cross tabulation, there is a significant association between class preference and reasoning behind online learning, the willingness of online learning, ability to use a computer and a study place uh, without obstruction, etc. Uh, in presently developed nations such as United Kingdom, Italy, Germany, France, United States of America is trying to adapt and adopt with distance learning. Developing nations are also adopting and adopting the integration of transformation of the digital learning system. Although Bangladesh has accepted the e-learning education system during this crisis, some challenges uh, make it too difficult to gather knowledge appropriately. Access to the internet, power connection, available and accessible devices using computer and internet properly are the prerequisite of uh, online or distance learning, which is insufficient in the context of our country. The study focuses mainly on students' observation of distance learning. Uh, the following measures are suggested for further development. Internet ex uh, access is not advanced everywhere in Bangladesh. Urban students get more access rather than rural students. 
Consequently, advanced internet service users receive extra facilities during class time and uploading documents. So better access uh, to the internet and speed uh, should be expected all over the country. Laptop, headphones, smartphone, chargers, speaker, etc. are the essential tools for online classes which are expensive for families with middle or lower income. In this case, university authorities can provide such instruments for the smooth learning. Moreover, families uh, whose maximum members are students need several devices at a time. Therefore, if institutions provide these facilities, they will be benefited. Um, the use of internet is another important factor for online learning. Lack of skill and knowledge of internet using create barriers in their learning. Special training on uh, skill development of internet use and computer learning can be uh, can help to reduce this problem. Um, uh, Ministry of ICT and government should uh, emphasize on internet expenses as lower costs uh, increase the benefit of users. Not only internet access, but also a quiet place and proper device for learning like a face-to-face -face classroom should be ensured. Um, it is very difficult to create a proper learning environment for families having large members and congested houses. In these circumstances, family members play a supportive role to create the proper atmosphere for learning. Though it is quite difficult, awareness can be minimized. Uh, and this uh, obstacle uh, could be minimized shortly. Nevertheless, students are trying to adapt to distance learning in this crisis moment. Technological integration, as well as students' attitude, performance, adoption, uh, ability, also uh, access uh, vital determinants of e-learning. The study indicates a positive upward trend for, uh, trend for people of less advanced countries like Bangladesh, uh, providing a partial idea about the situation, which may be helpful for the reasonable authorities, uh, responsible authorities and uh, other for uh, others for further initiative regarding distance learning. Thank you so much for giving us your time and listen to my presentation.